All right, ready? Yep. Explain what's going on here. Okay, so. Here's the Tesla coil. This is the Tesla coil. No, it makes so. big sparks. Well, kind of big. But what right. happens is we have it hooked up to the 120 volt, 60 um, megahertz or whatever. Um, that's our main voltage. And it's coming down through here. There's the transformer, which is grounded also in it. At, um, outputs 7,500 volts at 30 milliamps. And then what happen? It is it'll, it'll run up through here, make a complete circuit the whole way around. So it's going this way. It's going yeah. that way. It's actually going this way around. Run through the and coil. The coil. Back through here. And the, or that coil is not connected to the, the bottom coil is not no. connected to this coil. This it's top coil, right? It's just sitting there. Then what will happen is it'll go through the capacitors. And these are. They're um, bottles. You just beer bottles filled with salt water. Salt water. Yeah. Wrapped with aluminum foil. And what happens is that those make a really high voltage output. And what happens is that will run back to this wire and it'll cause a short across the spark gap, which will then make it run back the whole way up through here through the coil again. And at this point where it runs through the coil, It'll have that'll create a big electromagnetic force, which will then be drawn into this coil, which is I think 785 turns of copper wire. Um, and as it goes up to there, it'll be the electromagnetic force will get multiplied, run through the silver thing here, which is acts as another capacitor, and it'll shoot sparks out. Should, and then it's going to hit that wire that's right in here. They get drawn into there. Okay. And then we're going to vary the amount of bottles we use. Start with a small amount and go with a larger to see how big of a spark, see if that, if that influence the size of the spark that shoots out. Yep. Pretty much it. All right. So we have 49 bottles in there. And we'll see if we can max this out. All right. Okay, the first time that we just saw was 19 bottles. Then we're going to start adding a row at a time of five bottles. So now we have 24, right? Yep. All right, let's crank this baby up. Ready. Okay, and this time we're going to do the, the original amount of bottles and we're going to measure with the ruler the distance. Okay, now here it is with one more row, five more bottles, 24 bottles total. Okay, five more bottles for 29 bottles.
have to conduct an electricity there. I'd like to see that in there. So as far as you can begin, you have to actually measure distance. If it gets to the end, because it's jumping to the end. Oh my god! I was 